<clears throat> the Donkey Kong rap, or DK rap, is the intro theme to the Nintendo 64 game Donkey Kong 64. For many years now, folks have pondered the strange and delicate meaning of the DK rap and its thought-provoking lyrics. They tell a tale of five monkeys, Donkey Kong, Diddy Kong, Tiny Kong, Blanky Kong, and Chunky Kong. Together they form the DK crew. The original song, only about three minutes in length, captures many important themes about monkeys, humans, and the meaning of life. No one has ever dared to attempt to break down the intense and emotional lyrics of the DK rap, but ladies and gentlemen, that is exactly what I plan on doing in today's video. Let's begin. Hold up, it's loading. I'm sorry, guys. In essence, those first four seconds of the DK rap tell us everything we really need to know to prepare the viewer for the music ahead. It shows the monkey DJ playing some introductory beats that really set the tone for the rest of the song. He says here we go to further prepare the viewer. The identity of the monkey DJ is kept hidden throughout the song, adding to the mystery and suspense that really creates an atmosphere. Also here, we get the first view of the DK crew itself, and we have Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong in front, and all the other members surrounding him. They are all in various dance positions, suggesting they are energetic and full of life. The lyrics say, so they're finally here, suggesting there has been a long wait of anticipation for the arrival of the DK crew. Where have they been in this long wait? Some theories suggest Donkey Kong and the crew have been through some rough emotional times recently, perhaps the loss of a loved one, and this energetic start to the song captures their fresh willingness to come back to reality in the world and live normally again. The monkey screeches in the background add to the background music, also suggesting there are other monkeys in the room, unseen, perhaps cheering for the DK crew, once again adding to the theme of mystery. These shots here are very introductory in nature. Put your hands together if you want to clap as we take you through this monkey rap. Notice how they say we, not I. It is, the don it is not just Donkey Kong speaking to us, it is the entirety of the Donkey Kong crew speaking to us through one voice directly. It helps the viewer feel included. These monkeys will take you through it together to the end. This could have further context outside the song. The monkeys' main goals are to help you. They're telling you that you can make it. You can do it. This is very inspirational, as the monkeys have been through a lot in life already, and they are willing to help you get through the troubles as well. Putting your hands together is a symbol as this. You and the monkeys are coming together to fight off evil, a symbol that you are not alone in this world, and that you will always have people there for you. And these shots here, you can you can just tell that the what the monkeys are all about before the actual song starts. So, yeah, that's what that means. <laughs> The first chorus of the song is just a few words, DK, Donkey Kong, yet they are so intense and emotional and are supposed to elicit tears out of the listener at their sheer beauty. The monkeys are standing in a circle, symbolizing their collective being as a circle, something that never ends, has no beginning nor end. The monkeys are infinite, godly beings, yet they can still hold sorrow in their life. They are also shown throwing Lanky Kong out of the circle of Kongs, representing the fact that life isn't fair sometimes, it can be cruel, and you just have to deal with it. Uh, he's the leader of the bunch, you know him well, he's finally back to catch some tail. Here we are introduced to Donkey Kong. Since we already know, probably know this character, it is intentional that he is shown first as to ease the viewer into learning about the rest of the bunch by starting off with a familiar face. Once again, you said the word finally suggests the audience has been waiting a long time for this in heavy anticipation. Here's coconut gun. Donkey Kong here is showing off his weapon, a coconut gun, demonstrating its sheer power by saying it's gonna hurt. It can also fire in spurts, which can be seen here as he shoots bees. It's showing it can deal multiple shots of damage to any mortal whom dare to oppose Donkey Kong. There could also be a deeper meaning here. Donkey Kong is probably mocking gun violence in the world and speaking out against it with the use of a coconut gun. He is saying we should be more peaceful towards each other instead of using guns. 
Donkey Kong wants humanity to throw away its horrific weapons. They can cause nothing but grief. He mocks normal guns with a coconut gun instead to show that. In those series, series of shots, Donkey Kong is showing off his physical body by saying he's bigger, stronger, and faster too, suggesting he is viewing himself as higher than you. This, however, is just a facade, a mockery in fact, of the insanely high standards our modern society puts up for people, people's bodies and how they should look. He is telling you in a way that no one is perfect, and he creates a message of self-loving and care by using this mockery of society's social standards towards appearance and his extreme distaste for it. Donkey Kong is also the main character of the crew, what the viewer came to see, and the viewer could look up and say, oh, I'll never be as great as Donkey Kong. Well, here we have it. Proof. Donkey Kong is saying that everyone is beautiful, a very inspirational message. Thank you, Donkey Kong. Very cool. He's the first member of the DK crew. DK. Donkey Kong. We get another chorus here where the monkeys stand up and make a formation that appears to be some sort of star, cross, or formation of the likes humanity could probably never understand since the monkeys are far more intelligent than us humans and of this polygon they created could represent a number of things. The way they are standing though is similar to how cheerleaders stand, suggesting they are high in spirit and are cheering for you. They are happy despite the troubles they have faced. Here we are introduced to the second monkey. Tiny Kong is her name, I believe. They state that this Kong's got style, so listen up dudes to obviously attract the male audience. They also say she can shrink in size to fit her mood, and then it shows her easily beating up a crocodile. Maybe the word tiny is an incorrect word to divert the viewer's expectations. The word tiny suggests she is weak, but as you can see, Tiny Kong here easily beat up a crocodile twice her safe size, so she is e obviously not weak. As explained before, all the monkeys are essentially godly beings. Anyways, Tiny Kong is also the only female on the team showing her fight against discrimination in this modern world. Here she is proving by strength by beating up crocodiles in the DK crew. She is a symbol to all girls to keep on fighting and to never give up a universal message to all those oppressed in any way, shape, or form. Tiny Kong is very tiny, yet she is able to defeat the crocodile, and this theme could easily be compared to the biblical scene of David against Goliath. She's quick and nimble when she needs to be. She can go through the air and climb up trees. I think that this is a subtle reference to the fact that Tiny Kong can fly and also to the fact that she can climb up trees, a hidden Easter egg for those with a clever eye. If you choose her, you'll not choose wrong. These words show Tiny Kong's political view, and she's clearly a Democrat because of these lyrics, and she supports equality, liberty, and justice. She also supports voting rights and minority rights. She hints at her ideas in the future to possibly run for president by saying, if you choose her, you not choose wrong, which really means voting for her. She already tries to catch the viewer by saying she's one cool Kong, to already plant the seed in the viewer's head of voting for her in the future by thinking to by getting us to think that she's hip and cool. What her other political views are, are not revealed, suggesting she has a lot to say about society, but she doesn't have time in the song to explain it all to us. We got another chorus here. Here we have the third Kong, Lanky Kong, who apparently has no style, which is an opposite to Tiny Kong, who is viewed in the crew as hip and cool. Lanky Kong must be some sort of outcast in the DK crew, as he was thrown out earlier out of the circle of Kongs. This could be because he has no grace. This Kong has a funny face, suggesting he is not serious at all about anything in life and is a class clown, once again an opposite of Tiny Kong. He is shown bouncing up and down here. Showing he is happy with the way he lives his life, a carefree life of no worries, like a Hakuna Matata or something. This is probably what he is telling the audience to. Don't worry about things. As you can probably tell, each Kong in the song has very distinct views about the world and how to live life, and they all combine together in the DK crew to create something much bigger than themselves. This is part of what makes the DK rap so appealing. It's a broad mix of Kongs. Everyone can relate to at least one of these monkeys. DK 
This shows, for instance, how flexible Lanky Kong is. He has a long reach, which probably means he is good at basketball. He is essentially telling us how good he is at basketball and how he played in the NBA for many years. He inflates himself and then flies around, which is what in is implied as farting. This is obviously an attempt to appease the younger audience with potty jokes. However, to the older audience, the idea of inflating himself is obviously linked to inflation. Although Lanky Kong is not serious about a lot of things, he is disgusted by inflation and mocks it by turning into a balloon. The lyrics also say he just digs this tune, suggesting he is an avid listener of music. He expresses that his favorite type of music is Catholic psychedelic synth folk. <laughs> Here we have our fourth Kong, Diddy Kong, taking the stage. He says he's back again in about time too, and that this time he is in the mood, suggesting that the last time he was on stage he wasn't in the mood. What was the result of this is unclear. Well, perhaps some sort of mistake on stage or a traumatic experience caused Diddy Kong to despair. All we know is that Diddy Kong re regrets his mistake and is now filled with fresh vigor as a Kong. The jetpack is an obvious reference to Jetpack Joyride, a mobile game involving a jetpack. Diddy Kong expresses his love for the game again as he has as he has many times in the past. The also he also says he has his pistols out and that makes him tough. Since Diddy Kong is related to Donkey Kong, Diddy Kong may have been influenced by Donkey Kong's views on anti-gun violence and taking them as his own. However, the combine he combines the jetpack with pistols and that makes a menacing figure different from the coconut gun mockery of Donkey Kong. He is saying that he is tough because of his jetpack and the guns, and this youthful boasting may in fact because of his, be because of his youth. He is still young, and this portrays to the viewer not to boast, and to stay humble, and not to do what Diddy Kong is doing, as he can be irresponsible at times. This connects back to when he wasn't in the mood last time, suggesting Diddy Kong has not learned from his lesson from his past, and is still irresponsible. He has good intentions, but doesn't think before acting. This is once again an example of what not to do. He'll make you smile when I have no comment on this segment of the song. Finally, he's here for you. We have the Chunky Kong, the fifth member of the DK crew. He expresses his clear strength, though he seems to be alone in intelligence, mainly brute strength to make up for this, so there probably won't be a meaningful deep stuff in what he says here, but it's entertaining nonetheless. He's the opposite of Tiny Kong, which can shrink. This Kong can expand his body, which is pretty epic gamer, not gonna lie. Chunky Kong is obviously re referencing the city, Boulder, Colorado, with his lyrics on boulders, and he is expressing his extreme distaste for Colorado's sheer existence. These bananas here may seem trivial, but they are very important. You see, Monk like banana. Also, it could be a symbol for the Fritol Crescent, the place of origin of civilization. Each banana represents humanity's origin. Here we have the reveal of the DJ. Previously in the song, his identity was um, it was concealed, but now we have the identity here. See, he kind of looks like Santa or something. And uh. Here, here all the monkeys come together and, and, and 
it's just so beautiful, you know, I don't even know what to say. Just, just listen. Pineapple smells, grapes, melons, oranges, and coconut shells. Oh yeah, walnuts, peanuts, pineapple smells. You know, Marvel's, like, Infinity War was the most ambitious crossover event. You know, uh, I disagree. It's definitely this. You got, look, look at this lineup. It's pretty great. I think this definitely rivals the Avengers. You know, I think it's better than the Avengers, actually. I mean, it's so beautiful. Just look at this. And then it ends, uh, with it blowing up. Oh no, what's this? Basically, uh, the video ends with, uh, Donkey Kong blowing up. Okay, what's this? What should these beauty products have you heard of? Burberry Her, Yves, Jor, Doi, I don't know, Gucci, Gucci, I heard of Gucci. Okay, this part actually isn't supposed to be in the video, but uh, it's part of it now. Okay, that was my in-depth analysis of the DK rap. I hope you enjoyed.